Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Alberonin here again, and today I'm going over Deku in My Hero Wants Justice 2 Remix Edition, but not a version of Deku you would have seen in the vanilla version of the game, and that's because this is multi-style Deku, which is kind of like a combination of uh, shoot style and regular Deku from the vanilla game. So he's got the finger flick, he's got the charged finger flick, he's got the slide, he's got some yellow attacks from all different places, He's got a different plus ultra. He's got a lot of different stuff all put together. And uh, so yeah, it makes him a very unique character. And just before I lose anyone, before I start talking about other stuff, let's look at what like one of his combos look like. Um, so yeah, one of his best combo paths is something like this. And yeah, you could do something else to finish it. Uh, I would probably suggest doing a tilt work one to finish it, but it'll be, be about the same amount of damage. But yes, so let's actually go over what his moves actually are. So his regular attack string is this unusual three hitting attack string and it puts the opponent in the air and you can cancel it into almost any quirk button. You can cancel it into his quirk two, his tilt work one, his, yeah, just about anything you can cancel it into, but not everything will hit. Like for example, his flick will not hit, obviously. Um, his air attack string is, again, a three hit attack string, and you're not going to do the three hit, the last hit very often unless you want to get a wall splat from far away. It's very good at that, it launches them very far, even farther than the Quirk 2, which is, um, I don't believe would hit from this distance. Yeah, or, yeah, so they're about the same, but, you know, you can get a wall splat from it if you accidentally do it. And, um, but, you know, it's good because you can link it into yellow attack and stuff. And yes, speaking of yellow attacks, his ground yellow attack is his Tilquark 1 from Shoot Style Deku. Um, but for some reason in my version, he doesn't actually launch the rock. For other people, he does launch the rock, but for some reason mine doesn't load in. But trust me, the rock is there. <laughs> so yeah, that's his ground yellow attack. His air yellow attack is kind of a combination of Shoot Style Deku's yellow attack and then regular Deku's air attack string. And it's very good, it does a lot of damage for a single attack. So it's very good for linking in combos um, wherever you can. His quirk one on the ground and in the air is his flick. It's just like the normal style of the flick, except instead of holding the button down, or instead of having to charge the button, you can just hold the button down and then he automatically does the enhanced flick, the charged flick. So he can do it at any time. I don't actually need to hold, um, charge it up, but it is kind of a nerfed version of the flick. It doesn't do as much damage. It does like a max of about 2,500 damage, and from further distances it's not going to do as much. It'll only do like... Oh yeah, so it seems to consistently do it. But depending on how you hit them, sometimes it just does a little bit. And it doesn't have... Yeah, it doesn't have as crazy damage. It doesn't have as crazy hit stun or um, chip damage. But you know, it's cool that you can throw it out whenever. And also the tracking in isn't as crazy. But yeah, it's still cool that you can throw this out whenever. So he actually has, you know, some pretty good um, zoning with this. Maybe almost a little bit too good, but uh, I'm not going to talk about that right now. <laughs> and yeah, he can do it in the air as well. His Tilquak one is these shoot style Deku kind of kicks, where he, from from the ground version, it actually puts him in the air. So if I do an air attack after it, I'm in the air. As you see, he was in the air for a little bit. So if you do something like this, I'm actually doing my air stuff. And if you do the ground, the air version, it puts him on the ground. So you can do ground special moves. So yeah, the ground version puts him in the air. And the air version puts him on the ground. Which is very useful for combos, and we'll get into that later. His Quirk 2 is his um, regular Deku Quirk 2. It does a little bit less damage than it usually does, but just like the regular Deku, this move, for some reason, like, never Meteor Blows. Even at the end of a super long combo, this move will just never Meteor Blow, which is really amazing, because that means you can just keep doing it in your combo. And if you've done a super long combo, you can just, like, keep going like this, or if you're against a wall, you can always get a wall splat no matter how long your combo's been. So it's a really crazy tool, honestly, even though it doesn't do like crazy amounts of damage. Uh, it's just ridiculous how it never wall, um, never meteor blows. So you can either use it to extend combos or to get wall splats no matter what. And also he can hold the button down and it becomes a yellow attack with crazy tracking and he can actually combo off of it, which makes it a pretty good mix up tool. Cause if you know, your opponent's trying to sidestep maybe this third hit in here and you go for this, and then this catches them, or maybe they do an attack and it, your yellow attack goes through it. And you can actually combo off of it very easily. Um, just with anything. Even his red attack. Also, yeah, I forgot to mention his red attack is regular Deku's red attack, and you can actually combo off of it. And you get pretty 
pretty chunky damage off of it if you do that. And uh, yeah, so his Quirk 2 is a really good tool, especially if you um, get a Wall Splat. Because he can get really good damage off of it if he does this charge version. Because it launches the opponent back onto the ground, so you're not going to have weird like Wall Splat interactions. And then you can just do your combo from the ground after getting that extra 2000 chunk from the Wall Splat. So that's usually how you can extend from your Wall Splats. So his Tilt Quirk 2 in the air is the shoot style Tilt Quirk 2, and on the ground it is also shoot style Tilt Quirk 2. Except on the ground, his Tilt Quirk 2 can actually be jump cancelled, which means I can just jump out of it at any point. And that means I can get combos off of it for free. Which is handy. <laughs> it's really handy, and it leads to a lot of damaging combos. So, all of that put together, what will his combos look like? And because he has all of these crazy, like, Quirk tools, a lot of them actually link into each other. So, like, I can do Yellow Attack, into Flick, into this, and that all combos. So that means one of his combo parts can be something like this. and get 10,100 damage for a really awesome flashy combo with zero dash cancels. So that's really cool. Also a quick note on how you can I like to end my combos with um, multi-style Deku. So there's really two ways that I end my combos. It's either with the tilt attack, into tilt quirk 2, into tilt quirk 1. This will meaty blow the opponent, but the tilt quirk 1 is actually his most damaging special move. But you can also choose to end it in quirk 2 instead which does not meet you below, which means you can get a wall splat. So if you are facing a wall or even against a wall, um, I would suggest going for the Quirk 2 if you want to get a little bit, like if you want to spend a dash cancel to get some more damage, because you can't actually extend off of that pretty consistently a lot of the time. See, I've got, done it twice and I can even get more damage because it's just such a crazy move. So uh, yeah, if you want to get extra damage, go for this. But if you just want to end your combo and just do you know a decent chunk of damage to end it, just go for the Tilt Quirk 1, it'll meet you both the opponent and leave them pretty close to you. So yeah, that's also good as well if you're wanting to rush down and stuff. So yeah, we showed one type of combo. Another way he can combo is by doing his Tilt Quirk 1 into his Tilt Quirk 2, into this whole situation. And I can do a dash cancel there, just as an example of him doing extra dash cancels in his combos. And so yeah, all of his combos do a similar amount of damage, and if you add a dash cancel, as you saw there, it adds about 1,000 and a bit. So you know, if you want to end out a round, you can do an extra little bit of damage, but usually it's not too worth it. It'd be better saving up for plus ultras or whatever. Um, so yeah, there's this version. Oops. I actually, I think you can extend this a little bit more if you do something like this. Oh no, um... Maybe it's if I do this. No, maybe. Oh, no, no, I remember. So if I go like this, and then like this, this leaves the opponent closer to the ground, so I can actually do the whole tilt attack. And that adds some extra damage to my combo. So just without any dash cancels, I'm getting 10,800 damage. And I'm pretty sure that's the max damage you can get without dash cancels or a wall splat or any other extension. So yeah, that's pretty awesome damage for such an awesome flashy combo like that and zero dash cancels. So that's really good. And obviously, thanks to his Quirk 2 not ever meteor blowing, he can also extend his combos with the support like at any time. So if he decides to go for something like this... Oh, oops, mistimed that. Um, so yeah, if it's the end of my combo and I want to get a little bit more damage. I can just do this twice and add damage to the end of my combos, and it'll look something like this. Oops, Raraka missed. The timing can be a little bit tricky there. And so yeah, using the Raraka gives me a little bit extra damage. But honestly, you probably, because he's getting high damage and getting like all of his combo potential out in one combo anyways, there's probably not too much point on using um, supports in your combos unless you just want to end out the round. But uh, where it is worthwhile using your supports in your combos is for plus ultra combos. Because his plus ultra, if you do a combo into it, you can get some pretty good damage, especially with the likes of Uraraka. So I do something like this.
Oh, oops, damn it. <laughs> but you can see this is already getting quite a lot of damage. Uh, oh, oops, sorry. Plus Ultra. And then bring out Uraraka, and then I go for basically the regular combo extension just all over again, and it gets pretty decent chunks of damage. Oh, damn it. The Uraraka can be pretty hard to time because she um, comes out surprisingly quickly. Okay. Then into this again. And I could have gone for a wall splat there, but even without a wall splat, 16,200 damage for zero dash cancels, just a plus ultra with my support. Pretty beefy damage, just like a lot of characters in Remix Edition, so yeah. And it's a pretty awesome looking combo, I love how he has so much flexibility. And because he goes up and in, like from the air to the ground in his combos, that means you can, like if I've just been doing a normal combo, like, you know, I just get a regular hit confirm, and I'm just doing, you know, regular stuff. I can actually choose to do my plus ultra halfway through my combo and then add extra damage instead of having to like commit to it at the very beginning. Which is really good if you realize like, oh, my opponent doesn't actually have support, so they don't they're not going to break this combo or I can finish out the round with this. You can actually choose to go for a really big damaging combo instead of just doing the like the 10,000. So, it's really yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, he just has a ton of flexibility with his combos, being able to go from the air to the ground, because it means he can throw in a plus ultra 1, he can throw in a plus ultra 2, and really, like, cash out on damage if he really wants to. And it's really good to have that flexibility whenever you need it in a combo. So, yeah, that's basically what his combos are going to look like. I don't think I've actually shown what a proper wall splat combo looks like. If I do something like this, pretend I've done, like, a super long combo, because, remember, he can get a wall splat off of a really long combo thanks to his quirk too. So pretend I've done like, you know, a long bread and butter combo and I've gotten a wall splat just like I have here. I dash up, do a charged quirk too. Do a red attack. And something like that. Just from like a regular combo. And he can extend that far because none of those attacks I did at the end actually meteor blow. So ignoring the plus ultra, pretend there was no plus ultra in that. I just did a long combo, and then, you know, I w pretend I ended my combo in my quirk 2. I just dashed up, did another charged quirk 2, and then get got all that damage off the end, just because I realized I got a wall splat. Which is pretty crazy if you think about it. So we can do these massive, like, one, uh, 10,000 damage combos, and then go for his quirk 2 to get a wall splat, and then if he gets a wall splat, then he gets an extra, like, huge chunk off of it. So, yeah, pretty scary character. And because he gets that extra chunk off of it using this, so after his wall splat and then he goes for this stuff, he could even just go in for a few attacks and throw a plus ultra on the end, and then he's getting massive damage. Um, And, yeah, sorry, I don't feel like trying to experiment how I'm going to be facing the wall, but trust me, it's going to be a lot of damage, just like we saw before. But anyways, uh, I think that's basically all we have to... Actually, I'm not quite sure what his plus ultra 2 is. Let's watch watch that while I... Say thanks for watching. So a big combo into plus ultra two. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be shoot style. Yeah, okay. But anyways, this version of Deku is really interesting, and I think he's far more like fluid and fun to play with than any of the other versions of Deku. So yeah, really fun stuff. Anyways, thank you for watching all the way through this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you in the other remix videos that I'm gonna be making. Anyways, yeah, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!